Fifth grade, today we're just building off of what we've been doing. More division. The only difference with today is today we're dividing money, so we have to include the dollar sign and the decimal point. So step one, first thing we want to do is we want to put the decimal point in the quotient where it belongs, and we also want to include the dollar sign. It goes right above where it is in the dividend. Next, we do exactly like we would normally do. So a quick review. We divide, then we multiply, subtract, we compare, and then we bring down. So starting with 9, 9 cannot go into 1, so we'll just put a 0 to remind ourselves that we're not dividing 9 into 1. We need to divide it into 19. So 9 can go into 19 two times. So we're going to write the 2 in the quotient. Next, we're going to multiply the 2 times the 9, which is 18. Okay, then we subtract like we normally do. And then we compare. 1 is less than 9, so we bring down. And now we repeat the process again. We go back to the top. So we're dividing 9 into 15. So 9 can only go into 15 one time, right? Because 1 times 9 is 9. If we would, said 2 would be 18, that'd be too big. So now we have to subtract. Okay, so 15 minus 9 is 6. Then we compare 6 is less than the 9, our divisor, so we can bring down. And... Now we divide 9 into 63, which goes 7 times. 7 times 9 is 63. And then we subtract. And there's nothing else to bring down, so the answer is $2.17. To check, once again, we would take $2.17. We'd multiply that by 9. So 9 times 7 is 63. Carry the 6. 9 times 1 is 9 plus 6 is 15. Carry the 1. 9 times 2 is 18 and 1 is 19. Okay, and the decimal point here is two places from the right. So we've got to move it over two places from the right. So that would put it right there. And we add our decimal, I mean our dollar sign. And notice it's too much 1953 in evident and 1953 in our check. So we have done the division correctly. That's it. Dividing money.